this is the introduction to basic chords for the guitar. So now you've got this instrument here and you're not quite sure what to do with it. Maybe you can pick some single notes. But uh, those groupings of notes, also known as chords, are a little bit tricky. You've got two things you're contending with. These new shapes. And you're also trying to get your fingers strong enough at the same time to press down on all the notes simultaneously. So let's start with some basic chords. Let's start with some root fifth chords. Root fifth chords are only two notes, and they're really the cornerstone of rock music. One of the reasons rock music is so popular is because it's so easy to play. Start out with an E5, and as we go along, I'll explain some of the basic concepts I use to, to finger the chords properly and to make sure all my notes are clear. So an E5 is this. E is really popular on the guitar. It's the lowest note, and uh, often uh, instrumentalists like banging on the lowest note of their, their instrument can make. So what I'm doing is I'm basically I'm taking my first finger and I'm placing it here at the second fret of the fifth string, and I'm using the very tip of my first finger, and I'm fretting it just before the fret. I'm not fretting it back here. I'm not fretting it in the middle. I'm fretting it just before the fret without actually touching the fret. Another thing I'm doing is I'm keeping my thumb behind where I'm pressing. I'm pressing between my fingers and my thumb. And you're going to hit the sixth string open and the fifth string at the same time with it. And that chord's E5. Now, as far as uh, picking specific strings, one of the things you can do to almost kind of trick yourself just to pick the, the right two strings is what you're going for the fifth string here but you're going to hit the 6th string along the way. So your target is really the 5th string, and you're just going to grab that 6th string as you're coming down. Hi, I'm Giles Martin. I'm here in Abbey Road Studio 2 to talk about Yellow Submarine. Now, Yellow Submarine was written as a children's song. It was written overnight by Paul as a children's song. He was deliberate, he said. And, and apparently he, he went round and played it to Donovan and said, what do you think? And Donovan came up with the lyric, sky of blue, sea of green. A G major and then a D7. So that's the first finger on the first fret of the second string. We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. 